Hey guys, this is Cuber. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at two square ones, the X-Men Volt MS and the Yushin Little Magic Square One M. The X-Men Volt is a square one that came out a while ago, and I also magnetized the slice layer of this cube. This cube comes in at 14 uh, US dollars, unmagnetized, and then I magnetize the slice layer myself, and the top and bottom layers aren't magnetized at all. And this is known to be a very high-end square one that a lot of people use. This, on the other hand, is a very new square one, the Little Magic Square One M. It's the first mass-produced fully magnetic square one, and it is only $10 for the fully magnetic version. And I wanted to talk about some of the differences between these two square ones, just how they compare with uh, price, obviously, uh, this one is much better, but also just with performance and what I think of the overall product. The Volt is well known to be a very flexible square one and very customizable in terms of how you set it up. Uh, you can get a very different experience just depending on how you lube it and how well you tension it. The core can have some issues with stripping as well, uh, which it is known for, so I've put a lock nut on the core so that that can't happen. I haven't had any problems with stripping on the Little Magic Square 1M yet, but I'll have to see if that could happen over time. The Volt has fairly good corner cutting, and it could be quite slow or quite fast depending on how you set it up. Mine is fairly slow, and I can still move it pretty fast, but it takes a fair amount of effort. Uh, just trying to move it with my fingers to get it to turn as fast as I need it to. The Little Magic Square 1M comes very fast right out of the box, and it doesn't need all that much setup to feel really, really nice. It only needs a bit of loosening and a bit of setup, and you're good to go. This cube does not have very good corner cutting out of the box, but it gets quite a bit better once you loosen it a bit. Uh, but there's still a certain point where it really just can't go past anymore and it can't corner cut anymore. But the magnets make it uh, much easier to control as well. You might get a few more lockups on this than the Volt, which could be a problem for uh, some very good square one solvers. But overall, this cube is very nice for the $10 price. Magnet strength in the Little Magic Square 1M is quite nice. It's a bit stronger on the slice layer than on the top and bottom layers, which I think makes sense just in terms of you know how it helps your turning and everything. You can still get some lockups if your turning on square one is very inaccurate, because although the magnets help, they won't line it up if you're way off on a turn. So you do need to keep that in mind if you're just buying this purely for the magnets. Both cubes are quite good. Overall, I would recommend the Little Magic M Square One simply because this cube uh, is so good in terms of price range. And then if your turning is fairly accurate on Square One, uh, the magnets also make a nice addition, which will help with that too. Then it's a very good Square One for you. If you do like more flexible cubes and cubes that are much more customizable, then I would recommend the Volt instead. Or if you like cubes that are just a bit uh, gummier, I would say, or a bit slower, not quite as insanely fast, then the Volt might be better for you. But personally, I like cubes that are faster, kind of right out of the box, and then don't need quite as much setup uh, to make them a good speed. So overall, I would recommend the Little Magic M Square One if you uh, are on any sort of budget or if you're just looking for a fairly good Square One or a magnetic Square One uh, that could help with turning. But if the flexibility of the Square One is a big issue for you, um, then I would recommend the Volt, or if you just like slower cubes, then the Volt would be better for you as well. Anyhow, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'll leave links to both the Volt, the unmagnetized Volt, I magnetized this one myself, and the Little Magic M Square One down in the description. By the way, the unmagnetized Little Magic Square One is also available for purchase for only $7. So you can buy uh, both these cubes on thecubicle.com, and I'll leave links to them down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.